Today on Garden Fork, learn how to cook a really great steak in a fry pan on your stovetop. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Eric Rocha. Welcome to Garden Fork Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to cook this. This is steak. You know, and there's, I think there's some trepidation there. A lot of people, how to get it perfect, how to do it right. There's so many different ways. I'm going to show you how to cook this thing in a pan on your stovetop on a weeknight. All right, here we go. First, this is not a large steak. A lot of the cooking shows, you see these really thick steaks, and they talk about the different ways to cook it. This one, what, it's maybe an inch. And I went to the store, and they didn't have the thick ones. I mean, by and large, a lot of the steaks at your grocery store are going to be like this. This is a boneless uh, steak. Ones with the bone work the same way, all right? The biggest thing here is I keep this in the fridge, and I salt it, okay? All right, for the salting, I like, of course, salt. You can use what you want. If you've got the, the finer salt, use what you got. Both sides. There is debate about whether your steak should be warm or cold before you cook it. Thin steaks like this, I think, are best cold. And we'll explain more about that when we throw it in a hot blazing pan. But we've got this salted. Put this back in your fridge, ideally for like a half an hour. But whatever time you have, that's what you have. Okay? If you're really pressed for time, put the steak in the freezer for 10 minutes. That'll work. Do you like steak? Yes. As you can see, I don't have a range hood or a vent over my stove. And when you cook steak, when you cook meats on a hot pan in your house, you know what happens. The smoke alarms all go off. I've got a solution for that. Box fan. Box fan upside down so the controls are at the bottom. This goes like this. This goes like this. Use this information at your own risk, okay? This is not like OSHA approved or anything. But, oh, I gotta get to the knob. Hold on. Fan on high, time to cook. This stove has a power burner, it's called. It's a bigger burner than usual, but use what you got. This is on high, cast iron ideally, or one of these kind, which is what I use. You wanna heat this puppy up hot. Hot means hot, okay? So what is hot? That's not hot enough. When you can't hold your hand here, that's hot. Put in a couple glugs of a high heat vegetable oil. And let that heat up. It's just starting to smoke. Two minutes. Don't turn it, just leave it right there. So thin steaks cook very fast, which is why I put it in the fridge so that the interior of it doesn't get overdone. And how we're gonna test it is by touching the meat. Well, I got all my hands here. But much like the inside of your thumb here, that little part right there, that's the softness we want of the meat after we turn it, okay? Fire's good, it's cooking. My fan is working. Two things of butter. See how I'm pressing it there? That's, that's done up there, this is almost done. When this both sides are done, tilt your gravy, or tilt your sauce into the edge and cook the fat edge of the steak in there. Gotta be more flavor. Flavor is good, fat means flavor. Hey, real quick, we have more how to cook steak videos. The link is below here, including one about how to cook frozen steak. Cool. Nice. Medium, not overdone. Not bad, huh? Weeknight dinner. Magic fan. That's really good. We put out shows every week. If you want to subscribe, subscribe button right there. Also check out our DIY show, Garden Fork DIY, and sign up for our email newsletter. It's linked below for our email newsletter at the end of the show. You can do this. Simple steak, it's not a big thick one, just cook it fast, keep it cold, salt, butter, done. All right? Go out and do cool stuff, come back and tell me. Comments and questions, right below here. See you.